Well, he did it. He went <laughs> on today's episode, his first day of psychotherapy. <laughs> it's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, we're on the move. I'm hungry for dinner. I'm craving chicken. Uh, I want the sauces from Popeyes, but I like KFC better. There are 11 herbs and spices I like better. However, the crunch on the chicken at Popeyes is much better, but the flavor at KFC is better, but the sides at Popeyes are better, and the sauces are better, but I want the KFC chicken, but I they never have crispy enough chicken. The skin is always kind of, you know, it's not the greatest. So it's like I want KFC, but I also want Popeyes. And then I also want just like wings from somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna figure it out. Maybe we'll do a hybrid cross over of stuff from Popeyes and maybe some KFC. I don't know, but the chicken is the main part. I want it to be crunchy, but I want it to be flavorful. And this is, it's, you know, it, yep. The plight of having options. It's a good thing to have actually, so we can't complain about that. I just wish they would somehow fuse together into one amazing delicious chicken delight rather than two separate ones at different places. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, I've made an executive decision. We're just going to Popeyes because overall, I think it's just, it has the better, it's the better option overall. All right, y'all, we are locked into a semi-incognito zone. I got a three-piece with the Cajun fries. We got a coleslaw. We got a large root beer, full shuggy. We got three black and ranch and a sweet chili heat. But let's bring you down to look into the box and see how things are looking for a little close-up view. First things first, a beauty root beer with all the ice. You already know how I roll. No lid, no straw. Let's just break my teeth on ice. It's great. She gave me an extra sauce, which is cool. So shout out that. And also, this was supposed to be, I think, a small regular side. She gave me a full large coleslaw. So once again, also shout out. But let's oh, have a moment together. <laughs> With the Cajun fries right here. We got ourselves a nice steamy little biscuit, right? And then we got the three-piece chico underneath. This is getting risky. But look at that right there. Extra crispy things. We got a drum, probably a thigh would be my guess. And maybe this is kind of a piece of like breast meat. And we do like the white breast meat quite a bit around here, around these parts. Let's have a little snack before we get going. Mmm, very, very hot. Very, very nice. Well, it turns out it's a wing, a whole entire wing that hasn't been halved. So we got a top and a bottom. We got a flat and a drum. So that's a hookup right there, I feel as if. Snap into a black and ranch and get into some of these fries. Because here's the thing, and I know you guys are going to want to see me tear into a piece of chicken right away, but I can't. And I just gleeked. You guys remember gleeking? <laughs> you like, do that thing? And purposely, purposely like spit at people? <laughs> Man, isn't that assault? <laughs> isn't that a form of assault? I think it is. But the chicken is too hot. I like my chicken to, uh, come down in temperature before I get in there because you're looking at mouth burns, at scalds. It's just too... Mm. It hasn't firmed up enough, you know? So we just have some fries first. Is that okay with you? It's okay with me because they are the most amazing fries. I love these Cajun fries. Magnifique. 
overall a great experience so far got a bunch of extras it seems as if kind of got the hook up i was very very fast in and out in like four minutes all right root beer barks root beer some of the best palate cleanser i feel like this reminds me of the drink in the cup off of the movie <laughs> three ninjas when they put the ko pectate or whatever they're the x lax ko pectate i think is is that the opposite i don't know <laughs> and they pepper bomb the shit out of the robbers and he go, he's washing his face out in the sink and tom tom comes in he's like pretends to drink you know he's, mm, this stuff is good <laughs> he's like give me that <laughs> They proceed to smash it and then they shit their brains out at a later date when they almost get caught. I know, I know. You guys want to hear about it. You want to hear about my trip to the head doctor's place. But before that, we're going to get to it. But before that, we need to appreciate a nice buttery biscuit in sweet heat. You know, that's what first has to happen. And then we get to it. Mm. Yes, sir. See, this is the type of shit that KFC straight is lacking. The biscuit. The good ass sauce. The all the good sides. The fries. That's where Popeyes really wins out over the colonel. Colonel. Alright now Popeye's coleslaw, my absolute favorite. And while we're not too deep in the chicken, we'll explain the uh, going to the therapist. So, she's an independent practice. She's making bankaroo, would be my guess. Because <laughs> she makes like $150 an hour. <laughs> I don't know what her her cost for the office and everything, but her overhead is probably cheap because all she does is talk to people, really. And scribble in a notebook. Seems like an ideal profession. Very hard to get into. You need to go through a shit ton of schooling. And pass a bunch of shit. But eventually you just talk to people and get paid really well. This is my first time ever going to therapy. I've never done it before. I've always pretty much been like, pretty introspective about myself. I know a lot about myself. I know a lot of the angles of why I do what I do and how and the ways that I am fucked up. So I've always said like, another fucked up human being isn't gonna fix me because you know what I mean? They don't have the answers to my life. But it is. It does feel legit, I guess, to talk to somebody in a private setting where everything's basically confidential. And it's not like a friend or a family or somebody who can go and be like gossip or be concerned or tell other people and then other people you know what I mean like it's just a, a privatized space where you can just let your mind go get shit off your chest and kind of dump that weight that said it was $146 not that it was a waste it was an interesting thing to see but she didn't tell anything about myself 
that I didn't already know about myself, that I haven't been able to do deduce about myself for myself, basically, right? So, yeah, she made some suggestions and, and made a few points maybe where I could have get into chicken now. But yeah, she made some, you know, suggestions and some valid points and uh, some, you know, a couple little angles here and there that I've maybe not considered, but nothing groundbreaking. Oh, shit. There you go. Hot. Still so hot. Very good, though. But nothing... Astronomical. No real aha moments. <laughs> He's very cool though. Very open. Told me a lot about like. She's like, I could talk to people like you all day because, you know, as somebody who's she's like I, I studied philosophy and stuff but she knew she goes I knew not to get too deep into philosophy because it kind of can ruin your mind and she's like it seems like you've kind of gone like really far down the hole of thinking very 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 deeply about life and she's not wrong And she said she knew when to, when to kind of step away from it when she was studying it in order to almost like save herself from getting too deep. So that was a pretty cool, interesting conversation. But we talked about the artist's plight in society, having the style of brain that an artist has and how they don't really fit the mold of society. And you gotta, you know, you get people who succeed in, 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 art, in art and music and stuff and other types of art, it's a lot of like, you have to grind but there's a shit ton of luck involved. <laughs> and she was just basically like, it's a harder journey, it's a harder path. Nothing is guaranteed. <laughs> like nothing is, you don't have the pension, the the, the the guaranteed hourly, the all that stuff, right? And she's like, so why do you think you find so many of these people bartending and serving and all that stuff? Because that's kind of where they can make a living while they still grind to become this thing that they want to become, right? So, but I already know that about myself. I've already lived that life. I've been through that life. I'm still in that life kind of deal. And um, it's nothing, nothing groundbreaking. It's all shit I already know, right? All right, we got this Wang here. I will say she was also very, she was doing these uh, very quick, presumptions about me like she could already read things about me and diagnose me without really probing It felt like she was just reaching into her psychologist generalization handbook. And I'm starting to just say shit that like really was based off nothing. And wasn't really resonating. And I'd have to kind of find myself almost I find myself like interrupting her to be like 
found myself interrupting her to be like, I don't think we're operating from the same perspective here. Like, I'm like, what are you basing this off kind of deal? So that was a bit strange. A little frustrating. I felt like I had to like, kind of retake the wheel in the conversation at some times to try to like clarify further what it is I was trying to, uh, trying to convey. Cause she was going off on these like, like I said, these, these handbook tangents. Of a, of a lot of generalization. So, ultimately, the experience was come see, come saw. That's French for meh, basically. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd really do it again. I think if I meditate on things about myself. I can identify where my issues are and then chip away at them individually by myself, through myself, for myself. Because really it's just about being cognizant of yourself. It's about being self-aware and getting to the root of why you do things that are self-destructive or escapism or the choices that you make and things like that. So. I really, I don't know, it's, it kind of validated my feelings of what I, what, what I said before of like another random human who's also probably just as broken, who doesn't have the answers to life. I don't think that they can just fix me, like magically fix me. Like I need to fix me, you know? So that's kind of where that's at. Because truth be told, at the end of the day, it really is up to us to fix us. There's help out there, obviously. But really, you gotta wanna fix yourself. You gotta wanna do the work. You gotta wanna put in the, the effort and time and the thoughtfulness to yourself and, the, and find like the willpower and stuff like that, right? All right, look at this absolute monstrosity of a piece of chicken. Very good, but this is what's hard about eating chicken videos in the, in the vehicle. It's like, I gotta break this down, like, right? Like I can't, oh, there's juice is coming out of that. She's juicy. We, oh my God. But you know, you gotta break it apart into chunks and kinda, I gotta let this cool a bit. Like it's still so hot. The meat retains the heat so much. I'll tell you what though, right here, we're looking at a good thin little bit of meat. Thin little bit of meat and a nice crispy exterior with a sweet heat ranch mix up. That's what's up. Popeyes do got that good crisp. Cannot be denied. All right, I'm gonna just wrap that up here because honestly, this little last chunk here, it's too hot. It's gonna take like, it needs like 15 minutes in my world. I like my chicken to come down to like room temp before I crush into it most usually because otherwise it's like too wet. It's like the, the juices haven't set. It doesn't have that nice bite on it. It just gets like tears and jiggly and I don't, it's not my deal. But anyhow, I just want to toss you a therapy update. Tell you my experience. Have a little meal with ya. And uh, in the next little bit here, I want to get back to some home cooking videos.
because I did that big grocery shop, I got stuff that I want to make some home cooking videos too. So those will be coming down the pipe. I just also noticed that there's usually supposed to be carrots in here. And today there is not carrots in here. So maybe carrots are tough on the supply chain, maybe? I don't know. That's weird. But there's usually carrots in there. But yeah. All right. Not the best crazy big chicken bites. <laughs> because, uh, honestly, it needed to rest. Because it needed to rest like it's doing now. So I'll eat that in 15 to 20 minutes. All right. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good. Live well. Stay true.